Hi, I'm Taryn. In our previous video, um, we spoke about the importance of tummy time, and we say that in the next video, which is this video, we'll be looking at some activities that you can be doing with your baby to help them enjoy tummy time. So in this video, we're going to be looking at those activities. We're going to be looking at right from um, newborn, when your baby comes home from hospital, or you know out of the birthing pool or however, however your labor went but right from you know day one until they're very comfortable on their tummies so let's start right at the beginning when your baby is first born their major job is to learn how to um, work against gravity and use their muscles against gravity and what this means is that when your baby is lying on their tummy they have very little muscle strength so they they're quite plastered to whatever surface they're lying on they really stack there and really struggle to lift their head up against gravity and that's often why babies hate tummy time because they find it really uncomfortable because they they're quite squashed on whatever surface they're on so one of the big things for a newborn and we did it you know even when we were still in hospital with Gracie is that we put Gracie on our chest for skin to skin time so in the morning I would give Gracie a feed and then she would come and snuggle on my chest and I would also give it to my husband and he would also have skin to skin time. And this was a really wonderful bonding experience for all three of us. It was, they were precious times, I really loved those times. And, and the other big thing is that because, you know, if Gracie fell asleep that was okay because at least I was with her, so it was supervised. So um, in terms of sudden infant death syndrome, I wasn't too concerned because obviously I was with her and I was monitoring her. Now if your baby finds even that very uncomfortable, being completely horizontal, then what you can do is you can grade um, how you, the angle at which you're lying. So you can start off being you know, at, at a slight angle and take that further and further down until your baby is um, more comfortable. And you'll find that as your baby gets stronger, they'll soon start lifting their head up and being able to turn their head from side to side. Also, the other thing we did with Gracie, you know, right from a very early stage, is we made use of a play mat. And I have to say that I found the playmat invaluable because it just gave me a place where I could um, pop Gracie down if I was popping to the loo or making a bottle or, you know, sterilizing the breast pump or the million other things that we have to do right in the beginning stages. Um, it just gave me a place where I could put her where I knew that she would be safe. And then obviously I, I wasn't gotten particularly long. But when Gracie got older, and I would say probably about two months, I have to say that I did put her on her tummy on the playmat um, from very early on. But this is, this is our play mat, and we'll put a bigger picture of it so that you can see the whole thing. But it was, it's obviously really bright and colourful, so Gracie loved looking at the colours. And the other thing is that the elephant has a squeaky ear, and there's a bird that squeaks. Sorry, the elephant's got a crinkly ear, and the bird's got a squeak. And, and Gracie just loved um, being able to look at it. If she was lying on the ear and was able to turn her head, she could hear the noise that the ear made. The, this also has a little sound. And so Gracie really enjoyed being on her playmat. The other thing with this playmat is that it has a mirror. Sorry, this is a bit awkward, but it has a mirror. So when Gracie was lying down on her tummy, she was able to lift her head to look in the mirror, look at herself in the mirror. Now the other thing with the mirror is that if your baby is not able to lift their head quite so high, you can put the mirror, take it, it does come off, and you can take it and put it flat, um, kind of something like that. And so your baby can look at themselves in the mirror, you know, just not lift their head particularly high to, to look at themselves. And so we found, as I said, we found the playmat very helpful. The other thing you can do, probably two and a half or three months, is this is a little cushion. So what you do, it's not going to work on me, but you lie it under, the, under your baby's chest when they're lying on their tummies and it's got toys attached. And what this does is it just lifts them up off the floor so they're not quite so plastered to the floor and makes tummy time a little bit more comfortable. Also because it's rounded, your baby feel, fits quite snugly and feels quite secure in this, in this kind of cushion. And um, so that I also found really invaluable. Um, in terms of enjoying tummy time. I have to say that I was very fortunate and that Gracie um, quite likes being on her, on her tummy, so I didn't really have to entertain her too much. But I have to say that the play mat in this was, was really helpful for me um, in getting Gracie to enjoy tummy time. Once you feel that your baby um, has quite good neck control and you're no longer supporting their neck anymore, there are some really fun activities that you can do with your baby. It's a little bit more rough and tumble um, or physical kind of play, not quite so sedentary. 
Um, but one of the activities that I do with Gracie, and she, she loves it, is that I put her on my knees, I rest her on my knees, and I hold her hands, and I sing songs to her. So I'll bounce her up and down, and we'll have a sing song, and I sway from side to side. And she loves that. She gives the most massive grin. But what you'll see is that when she's, when she's on my knees, number one, she's interacting with me. So that's really fun and exciting for her, as it would be if she's interacting with her mom. Um, but the other thing is that her, she's lifting her head up against gravity, so she's really nice and horizontal, which means that she's working all those little tummy, all those little muscles along her back and her neck. She's also lifting her head from side to side, so that's really fun. The other activity that we'll often do with her is I'll hold her in my arms and I swing her, and and I either bring her up to a mirror or I bring her up to my husband so that she can look at him and and um, giggle and and have a little bit of interaction. So when you're thinking about tummy time, it doesn't only have to be kind of on a flat surface. Think about what you can do with your body, and um, to help them enjoy tummy time. Another idea of kind of you using your body is that often when they're very little and if if your baby um, struggles with colic it often is very helpful for them to just lie across your lie across your lap or if you carry them supported you know you can hold hold them in your arm and just kind of rock them but that with them facing facing down so any of those any of those kinds of activities are really good for supporting um, or for strengthening their back and their neck muscles so I hope you found those activities helpful. Just to have, give a quick recap, and we spoke about in the very early days how you can give lots of nice skin-to-skin -skin chest time with your baby. As they develop, you can move them onto something like a play mat, which has a mirror, also possibly one of these little cushions that you can support them on. Just another word on these cushions is if you can't find a cushion like this, it's very easy to just take a little towel, roll it up, and put it underneath their arms and that'll lift them up um, off the floor. Even a cushion, you could use your, your breastfeeding pillow to, um, to give them that support. We then spoke about when your baby's um, older, they've got really good head control, you can put them in, and bounce them on their knee. Um, sorry, bounce them on your knee. Once they get to a rolling stage, I found that they, um, Gracie certainly is far more comfortable on the floor when she's able to roll. She's far more comfortable on her tummy. And I actually don't really need to entertain her. As long as she has a couple of toys on the floor, she rolls around, she is now at the stage where she's um, pushing right up off the floor, she's now supporting herself with one hand and reaching up and playing. So hopefully, once your baby gets used to tummy time, um, you will need to do less and less to entertain them. The other note about tummy time is that if your baby isn't enjoying tummy time, then grade the amount of time that they're spending on their tummy. So not only grade the activities that you're doing with them, grade the amount of time. So in the beginning, give them a minute, move them on to a minute and a half, two minutes. The other thing, and I know that this is quite um, hard on us as moms, and I absolutely hate doing it, um, but sometimes you might need to work through a little bit of crying. Now, I'm not saying if your baby is crying inconsolably, don't let them cry inconsolably. You need to pick them up. You need to comfort them. But if they start getting a little bit niggly, give them a little bit of time in that niggly stage um, because you want, to, you, want to, um, you want to push them in a sense. You want them to develop that strength. If babies don't enjoy tummy time, um, there is a risk that they don't, they don't meet the developmental milestones as they should be meeting the milestones. And you can see the previous video for the importance of tummy time. So it is important. I encourage you to persevere. Now, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear about any of the activities that you've done with your baby that you found really helpful. Or if you just find that it's a losing battle um, and your baby hates tummy time, I'd still love to hear about your experience of tummy time and the kinds of activities that you do to either console your baby or help your baby enjoy tummy time. For more information, please visit us at nigglynew.com. You'll find a whole lot of um, information and more videos about baby development in general, not just tummy time. And we also have a Facebook fan page, which is called Niggly New, so you can see us there. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.